everybody, my name is Miss Paloma and I am a library associate with the Palatine Library District. Today we're going to be working on chromatography flowers, but first we're going to learn what chromatography is. Chromatography is a way of separating mixtures. Different color ink particles travel at different speeds through a filter paper. You can then see the different colors that make up that specific ink. Our experiment today will be paper chromatography. We will use a coffee filter, water, and markers to see. There are two phases to chromatography. There's a mobile phase where the molecules can move, and there's a stationary phase where the molecules can't move. For paper chromatography, the stationary phase is the filter paper, and the mobile phase is whatever you're using to dissolve the color. So for us, it'll be water. The more a color can dissolve in water, the further up it will travel through the filter paper. So now that we know a little bit about chromatography, we're going to get started. You're going to need everything from your kit, the coffee filters, you're going to need a small glass of water, and if you have a short glass that's wide, that would work best. You're also going to need markers. Now you can use um, any type of markers, but you're going to get different results. You can use Crayola. Mr. Sketch markers works really well. I'm going to be using Tombow art markers that I have. If you use markers that say the word washable in it, because the washable markers dissolve better in water, you're not going to see too much of the changes in color. Instead, what you'll notice in your coffee filter is that the color is going to travel up, which is still a really cool effect. You're also going to need pipe cleaners and some tape. All right, so let's get going. We're going to start the chromatography process by drawing a circle on our coffee filter. Placing a piece of cardboard or thicker paper underneath your coffee filter to work with first. You're going to begin drawing a circle using your marker. Use part of the filter where the ridges meet the bottom to guide you. It's important that you have something underneath your filter so you don't stain your workstation. Go nice and slowly all the way around. You can fill in any gaps of white from your circle. Just be careful not to tear the filter because it will already be soft from the marker ink. Do not color in the whole bottom of your filter paper uh, because you'll need some of it to be uncolored to go into the water. Once you are done, go ahead and fold your filter in half. You may get some ink on your fingers from creating the crease, but it's okay. Fold it in half again to create a cone shape. You're going to need a glass with just a small amount of water. This may vary depending on what type of glass you're using, but it's going to look like about an inch worth of water. Open your cone from one end so it balances in the glass and only get the tip of the filter in the water. If you use washable markers, you may see some ink in the water and that's okay. If you use art markers and see ink in the water, you may have to try again. This next part takes about 20 to 30 minutes for full effect, so we will speed it up for you. After that time has passed, take your filter out and lay it on the cardboard to dry completely.
filter has dried completely, get your scissors, pipe cleaner, and tape ready. You're going to fold your coffee filter in half and then you're going to fold it in half again like we did in the beginning in order to create a cone. You're going to fold your coffee filter in half two more times to create a smaller cone. This is just so that it's a little bit easier for you to work with when you're going to create your petals. Take your scissors and start rounding off the edge of the top of your coal. You might get some little bits of filter paper that don't quite come off the way you want it, so go ahead and clean that up. When you're satisfied with your shape, go ahead and open up your filter paper to see what it looks like. Grab a piece of tape to get ready. And you're going to take your coffee filter from the center and start bunching it up to create a short stem. I use the part that's not colored to guide me. Twist the stem and wrap it with your tape. Once it's nice and wrapped, you're going to begin to fluff up your filter to make it look more like a flower. This doesn't have to be done in any specific way, just do whatever you feel is right for you. Doesn't have to look perfect right now because you'll make other flowers to help make it look more like a bouquet. Grab another piece of tape and you're going to place your pipe cleaner along the short stem that you created. Wrap the tape around it to make it look like a finished flower. Once you've created the rest of your flowers, go ahead and put them all together so that you can see your beautiful bouquet. Using different markers will give you different effects on your flowers, which would be really nice to just experiment with. This also makes your bouquet look a little bit more unique. I hope you had fun with this. To learn more about our programs, visit palatinelibrary.org. From there, you can click Events to show you a calendar of everything that's upcoming for the month. You can even change the filters for age groups or program types. Click on anything you like and hit the apply button. It would then update for the items that you wish. We hope to see you at the library soon.